Well, hello everybody and welcome to Art Farm. Woo! <laughs> We're all excited today. Well, I am anyway, and I hope you will be because today we are going to create some masquerade masks. What do you think of those? Now, mine is a double-sided one. You can make a double-sided one if you want, but today I'm just going to show you one side and then if you enjoy doing it, you can make two in the class. So, this is what we need. Very, very simple. You will need a template of a mask, okay? Masquerade mask. And you can download any kind of template like that from the internet. So once you have it downloaded then, you will need to then trace it onto a sheet of white paper. Or a card, probably. Card's probably best. So you have your card. You're going to need a pencil to do that. Maybe if you want to go over it then with a black pen. And then you will need colours, markers, colour and pencils or paints, whatever it is you want to use, or all three, whatever it is you want to use to decorate it, okay? And then you will also need to get some sort of a stick, probably a stick from outside, a branch or something, or this is a stick I got in um, a shop, it's for, uh, it's a garden steak, so it's just for help, uh, helping plants grow. So anything like that, or anything at all you have lying around the house to use as the stick. And then obviously then some glue or sellotape to stick it on. Okay, so let's go. Right, let me just tilt this down so everybody can see. So what we're going to do then, first of all, is we have our template, okay? You've already got yours. If you need to pause this video at any time, do so. And then go and get your bits and bobs or go and get your download and then come back to me. But I'm going to keep playing on here and then you can come back to me whenever you need to. So... I'm going to set the template down on top of the white card, okay? I know I said paper, but card's probably better because it'll be stiffer, okay? So it'll be able to stand up nice and tough like that. If it's paper, it might be a wee bit floppy. So we're just going to trace around it then with your pencil. So I always like to use a pencil first, just in case we make a mistake or a happy accident, as I like to call it. So if we make a wee accident, then it's easy to rub out. So always have your rubber at hand as well. And then once you have done that, you can then, let me just show you there, there we go. So you can see it then clear, or to make it stand out for you, you can use your black marker, then to go around it, okay? So just go around it then with your black marker like that. Now you take your time, I'm doing this pretty fast here because I'm so used to doing it. Get someone to help you as well if you need to. You might need some help for the next part for cutting out. Now, so you have it drawn around like that, okay? So what you're going to do now is you're going to get a pair of scissors. So you're going to need scissors too, guys. I think I forgot to mention the scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to then cut it out. Now I have mine half cut out here to try and speed up the process for everybody. You're going to cut around your marker. Now you can cut at this stage or you can cut later on. I'm just cutting now so you can see the finished piece pretty quickly. You can do your decorating first and then cut it out after you do your decorating. It makes no difference. And don't forget, guys, once you have it cut out, don't forget to cut out the eyes as well, okay? I'll give you a wee tip on how to cut out eyes. Very simple. Sometimes people find it difficult to cut out the eyes. What you do is just fold your page slightly in half like that and just snip it like that. So once you have it snipped like that, then it's easy to get your scissors in and cut around it. Okay? So that's a wee tip of cutting out the eyes there. Now, let's go now with the decorating. So like I said earlier on, you can use whatever you want to decorate it with. If you want to add glitter, if you want to add feathers to it and things like that, you can do all that kind of stuff later. Beads, jewels, stickers, you can do writing on it, whatever you want. But I'm going to just going to keep it simple, simple today so that the video is quite short for you to copy. And then you can be as extravagant and as interesting as you like. Okay? Now I'm going to get a sip of water. I love sipping my water loads. I like to be nice and healthy, especially when I'm doing my art. I like to 
feel nicely refreshed when I'm doing my art, so I always sip water. You guys can do the same if you want. Now, where is my pencil? There we go. So what we're going to do now is, hopefully you guys can see, actually I'm going to do it with pen so you can see it on the camera easier. So what we're going to do is, very, very simple, do your own wee patterns around it. You don't need to copy me. I want you now at this stage to do your own design, right? So that's just a wee idea again. I'm going to do something like that, I think, today. And then that's just another more detailed version. So you can do exactly what you want. You can have it any kind of theme if you want as well. It could be like a princess theme. It could be superhero. It could be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be anything at all. It could just be loads of patterns. So we're just going to... I always like to draw rings around it first of all until I get some ideas. And then we can start by adding bits like this into it. As I say, you don't need to do what I'm doing. You can do your own thing. This is just an idea to get you guys going. Okay, so you can see there just what I've done there. Very, very simple. You can do loads of patterns around the inside as well. You can do, I might actually do like kind of big eyebrow -y type things. There we go. Look at that. So I'm just going to keep mine pretty simple like that. You guys work away and put as many details on as you like. What you can do is you can stop the video now and work away on yours. And then once you have yours all designed and sketched out, flick the video back on again. And then you can see what we're going to do next. Uh, very simply. Sorry for snuffling, guys. I've got hay fever. How many people have hay fever out there? Me. <laughs> ah, <choo. laughs> Don't mind me. I like to be silly sometimes. Okay, so get your markers. I like to use markers. Or you can use, as I say, paints or pencils, whatever you want. I'm going to use markers today and I'm just going to colour in. I'm actually going to use the thick side. I love these markers here. They're class. They're like permanent markers. So if you're using permanent markers, make sure you have something underneath like me to soak up the ink because it might go onto your table. But you can use normal felt tips as well. I do love these markers because they're really vibrant. So I've got green on there. And then I might go for a different shade of green for this one. So basically you're just going to colour it all in, or paint it all in, however way you want to do it, until it's completely covered. I always like to cover everything so that there's no white left on it, or only maybe little bits of white, like that one there, and there's only tiny bits of white in that one as well, do you see that? So. If you're like me, you love colouring in and you'll sit for hours doing it. I absolutely love doing it. And then once you have it all coloured in, you can add on some glitter, some stickers, some stars, whatever it is you want to do. I also like to colour it in and then sometimes I like to get my black pen again. And go over it in more detail so you can kind of see with this one here i've did loads of kind of little patterns inside the patterns do you see that just to give it more detail i think it looks class the more detail you have on it i think the better it'll look and people will be so impressed with it so i'm going to color the whole thing in just like that Oh, I'm going over the lines a wee bit here because I'm doing it extra fast. But you guys take your time, slow down, do it right. Look at that, that's class. And then you can do some details inside it. So I'm going to do circles inside the little flurry bits there. And I'll show you now.
you can see there i've added the little circles to that then we get another color here i'm just going to do these bits i'm keeping this all pretty green like i kind of want it to be like uh, nature in a way so i'm using all natural kind of earthy colors so you can stick to whatever colors you want to use uh, to suit your theme if it's a princess theme you might want to use kind of pinks and purples and silvers and things like that if it's superhero theme you can stick to cool superhero colors like reds yellows blues blacks all those kind of colors or whatever way you want to do it you just do it whatever way you fancy it now i'm just going to color this all in yellow And then we'll do some more detail, like over the top of it, depending on time. What time are we on? Okay, we're going to run out of time soon, so we mightn't be able to get too much detail on. I'll go as quick as I can here. The thing I love about these colours is you can actually nearly go over the colours that you've done, and it doesn't change it that much. Pretty cool. So if there's any older kids doing this, like teenagers and stuff, some of you might even have these. These pens are class for doing doodles and stuff like that. I always find a lot of young people have these pens in some of my classes. Just colour the whole thing in. That's actually looking pretty cool. This colour here, I'm going to do a little bit extra lines coming in here. So you go over down with your own kind of extra details on it as well. Where's my black pen? I want to get some black pen on it now. Just so you can see there, that looks pretty cool. I really would like to spend longer on this, but we're up against time. Get a few more wee bits of detail on it there, with black pen. Or any colour pen, gel pens would be actually quite cool to go over it. Up to yourself, what do you want to do? I want to do a few wee small ones here. And you can try and keep the two sides kind of similar if you can but the two sides can be different it's up to yourself and just do as many patterns as you like don't keep adding to it you can also then use i have these class white pens that i love see those ones some of you might have those. If not, don't worry, but I think these are class for adding white dots and things like that to it to make them really stand out. You could even use print or not print stick, but uh Tipex. You know, Tipex pens, you can use that as well. So um yeah. That's kind of it. We get a bit of black marker here now to go. A bit of black on here, I might do a circle here, a wee circle here. Oh, where's my black thin liner? So you can use thick pens and thin pens and get as many details as you want. But um, yes guys, look at that. Pretty quick <laughs> and pretty simple. But what you do is now, I don't have another stick here, but simply all you do is get a stick. As I say, you could use a twig from a branch or something, stick it on, and you have your masquerade mask. As simple as that, guys. Stink it on, stink it on, <laughs> stick it on. And then what you can do is, you can then, if you're having so much fun with it, make another one for the other side, so you have a double one, just like me. So, there you go. Enjoy that, guys. Bye.